All they had to do was hold on. All they had to do was hold on to a 2-0 lead. Now look, <clears throat> you can look at how bad United were in the first half, but my thing is, were they bad? Or do we just need to give credits for new manager bounce with Leeds? Because I think for Leeds, they played really well and they made it very difficult for United. And even though your boy Nat should have scored in the in the first half, bro, Leeds were amazing. Leeds were so superb. And when they went up 2-0, it just felt, oh, wow. How do United now get out of this situation here? I don't know what the hell has happened to Rashford because I don't recognize this guy. This guy that I called crap, garbage, and MBE merchants overrated and just surviving due to English tax. I cannot believe just how ridiculously effective he's been. I think there's only been one game in which he's not scored in, in like his last five or six. So I think in his last five, six, seven, eight games, he's scored in like in every game. So the form he's on is insane. Like he's literally on um, on absolute insane form. Like the form he's on is insane. And it's like, bro, he's just become an asset. And I think you have to ask, you have to thank Ten Hag because then you now bring on Sancho, who I've always rated, but was badly out of form. Keeper was garbage. I don't know whether the keeper was, was smoking there. But what a way to come back. Because I think Tenag sent him out to like some kind of a resort or, or so forth. His comeback and to score an equalizer. That is a great platform for him to now build upon, maybe starting as a, as a number 10. But I just think, you know, this was a good test for United. Because everyone thought that. I know it's a new manager, but United amazing on the form, playing well. Everything's working well. Oh, we'll say what's up. So you say to yourselves that, is this how reliance this team is on Casemiro? And can you now see how important Casemiro is to this team? But even without a Casemiro, I think United at the crib at home should be able to easily dispatch a team that is trying to battle relegation who've just sacked their manager, a.k.a. Donald Trump. So look, but look, I mean, now, I don't know how Chelsea are 13 points behind. That doesn't make sense. So, like, the math doesn't add up. Like, the amount doesn't add up for Charles to be 13 behind United. So I don't know whether you're doing some brick mass or maybe like Miss Miss Smallwood isn't really popping off, but it, it, does, it doesn't add up. So I just think with these points dropped, I expect City to beat Villa. Aston Bradford will see. But they're still in a title race. United are still so much in a title race. I mean, they've, they've, they've cut it down to two points between them and City. But I think City will say what's up. So now they're now maximized to now five, five points. So this was an opportunity loss for United to really put some pressure on City, but mostly solidify their top four position and maybe gives Newcastle, maybe taught me a little bit of hope. But um, I just think that, yeah, the horses really have that grit of a, of a game. And Casemiro is very key. Casemiro is, is, very, is very, very key for this team. And I just think that his presence in midfield and what he does both defensively and offensively, I just think is invaluable. And when you look at... And that's why I say to myself that shout out to the strikers, the defenders, the inside forwards. When you have a quality midfielder, Kansi, Kansi, that is truly exceptional, losing them has a monumental effect on said team. So the United, look, let's see what they, what they do against New, New, Newcastle. Magpies beat them. Magpies beat them. And so forth. But again, as I said to myself, I'll always hate United. And I, I will always pray for their downfall. And I pray that those Qatari guys don't come anywhere near these guys and they continue to suffer. But we'll see what it is. I only like to review things to be done after 38 freaking games, man. Hit that subscribe button over there, guys. Hit that subscribe button over there, guys. And check out that members-only content. Check out that members-only content, guys. And I'll see you on Friday for that live show. Peace!